Good morning, everybody. Well, midday. It's almost noon, actually. Um, just wanted to hop on here real quick. And some of you guys are new to our organization, so thank you very much for joining us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. And for our loyal followers and horse rescue warriors, hope you're all having a great morning. And thank you again for always coming and following us and participating and everything we couldn't do it without you guys. So I'm just here for a little bit today to talk to you all about everything that's been going on. Uh, of course, you know um, that Brandy had a, a terrible accident uh, last week and uh, she is home. She is recuperating. She's facing uh, several surgeries and rehab and everything. So it's going to be a long haul for her. But with our organization, um, we go and we rescue horses from the slaughter pipeline every second Saturday of the month. And when we do this, uh, we take you guys along with us. We take you actually live inside the auction so that you can go ahead and... Um, it's almost like being there with us. You guys are helping save lives right alongside of us. So we take you live uh, for a preview, and then we take you live inside the auction. And when the auction is over, uh, we let you guys know how many lives were able to be saved. And then the next day is the day that we pick up all the horses that were saved. Um, sometimes we make two or three trips, so that's absolutely fine with us. We'll make as many trips as we have to to be able to save the horses from the slaughter pipeline. And... Um, that next day, we take you on what's called a freedom ride. So we do that live as well. And you get to see all the horses being loaded into the trailer and brought back to our facility uh, where we do another live. And we let you see them all getting settled in where they get their um, places that they need to be in quarantine. And then they get their fresh food and water. So then during the week uh, after that, we take you... Uh, where we show you where horses are getting the care that they need, and we show you around the facility. And so all the horses have gotten the care that they need right now, and now tomorrow will be evaluation day. Uh, Sierra and Ty Tyson Green will be taking over the evaluations right now while Brandy is down. And um, it's up to me to be able to take them over to their facility where they will be evaluated and then we'll bring them back. And so we videotape every single horse that's rideable for evaluation. So you guys all know um, how they really are. But for right now today, I'm going to go ahead and take you around and show you some of the horses. So here we are. We have Mr. Junior, one of the mules here. Hi, baby. How you doing? What you doing, Mr. Man? That's Junior. <laughs> he just got his teeth done. He's all ready. And he's going to be going to Oregon here pretty soon. Yep, you're going to Oregon. Beautiful place. Beautiful place, Junior, huh? Yep, you're going to be so well loved. Hmm. And then we have Char over here. And Char is going to be his roommate. Because Char still needs to learn uh, confidence. And we kind of figured Junior was the best one to teach her that. So they'll be going together to Oregon. Hi, oh, baby. You want to come up and say hello this morning? Wouldn't that be nice? Would you like to come and say hello, Char? Hi. Hi, what do you think? What do you think? You think you could come say hello to me? Uh, I don't know. That's a good girl. With mules, you have to let them make their decision. You never force a mule a mule, it's always up to a mule to make the decision what they want to do, believe it or not. It's a little bit different with horses. Horses, you don't really give them the op option. Horses like the guidance and everything. Um, and But with mules, it's a little bit different. That's why they're mules, right? <laughs> Say, I make the decision and when I want to come and see you. Yep. But she's a beautiful mule, and she's doing well. She's put on a lot of weight since she's been here. And um, hopefully here soon, uh, she'll be able to go to Oregon and 
have um, one-on-one and be able to build that confidence that she needs so much. Okay, so let's go out here to the pastures a little bit. Now, I got everybody kind of spread out, as you can tell, because it's going to be time to take them for evaluations. And it's just easier to have them all a little bit spread out. We have two of them that didn't get along with the gray mare. And so we had to move the gray mare. We moved the little donkey, I mean, mule. And we moved the little filly there all together. But these two boys are out here in this big pasture by themselves, which is kind of cheating because <laughs> this is a huge pasture. I could fit about 20 rescues out here. However, right now they're just by themselves. Hey, boys, what are you doing? So this is Birdie and Flash. And Birdie and Flash are going, nope, you can't catch me. <laughs> but they're going to get caught up and they're going to go for evaluation tomorrow, aren't you? Yep. What are you guys doing? I bet if I had some treats, you'd be coming right here, huh? I forgot to bring the treats with me. That wasn't very smart. What you doing, Birdie? What you doing, Flash? Huh? What you do? That's Birdie right there. Pretty boy. Pretty boy. And that's Flash, and he's just as gorgeous. There he is. Peeking. What you doing, Flash? <laughs> pretty and Flash. So pretty, aren't they? Yep. Can't wait to get them evaluated tomorrow. We'll see how they do. Okay, so we're going to go over here now. We're going to go to the middle pasture a little bit. This is where I put the three girls. They all seem to get along pretty well together. So here we have Freebie, Fre Frida, Frida. Frida is a little mule and um, she's super cute. And every it's really funny. So these horses are really good horses, but as soon as they see me and they're in a pasture, they're like, run, run. We don't want to get caught. <laughs> And here's Diamond. Hey, Diamond. How you doing, baby girl? What you doing? Are you going to be friendly? <laughs> Wyatt's a good girl. See, I like to go pets. Wyatt, um, Sarah's little um, son, ended up riding her bareback the other day. So, but of course, she's going to run for me, too. Why not, right? Why not run for me? <laughs> and then we have... Uh, Frida over here. Frida, what are you doing? Frida's our little mule. She's a really nice little mule. And Penny, that's her name. Penny is our little, um, Penny is our little, Billy right here. Hi, baby girl. What are you doing? Oh, 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 oh. It's okay. Let me pet you. Let me pet you. <laughs> and let me see if I can go around here. Okay, I'm not going to get in the middle of you guys. I'll go around. <laughs> you don't ever walk in the middle of everybody with their butts in the middle. <laughs> I guess they, they could all go kicking at me if they wanted to. So then we have Patsy over here and we have Buddy. Now Buddy looks like he just nicked his nose. Buddy, what'd you get your nose into? Looks like it might be bleeding a little bit. See, I was just out here 20 minutes ago and you were absolutely fine. Okay. All right, you guys. <laughs> See, even they want to run from me, huh? This is Buddy the Belgian and Patsy. Patsy was saved out of the September slaughter pipeline too. And she's just a one and a half year old little filly. She's up for adoption. She's on our website. There's Buddy. Buddy, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I don't know. 
me see it. No, just let me see. It. Okay. You just cut it a little bit. All right. That's okay. Sometimes they end up trying to get over on the other side to get a bush. <laughs> and then they re lean down and they cut their noses on the rocks. But but he's a good little Belgium. Oh, I can't say little Belgium. He's a big, friendly guy. And he has now put on all his weight, on well, almost all his weight. He put on 125 pounds since he's been here. He's gotten his feet done. They look really nice. He had his... Um, Equine chiropractic adjustment. He's had worming and shots, and he's had his teeth done. So now, Buddy is on his way to be able to be adopted. He's, um, we wanted to keep him here in sanctuary till he was a able to make sure that he was going to make it because he was pretty emaciated for his height and we just wanted to make sure he was going to be okay, huh? But he's doing well. He's gaining a lot of weight. He's a big, gentle giant. And I know somebody would love to have him. Yeah. that's You're such a good boy, huh? Such a good boy. So now that he's all well and ready to uh, find his forever home, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take you to another part of the rescue here. So um, it's going to take me a little bit to get over there. But let me see if I can see any questions. It's really bright out here. I might not be able to see you. Yes, and he was supposed to stay in our sanctuary until he, he made it. And uh, he's made it now. Because as soon as we got... We didn't even get him in the trailer <laughs> and to safety. And we had a whole bunch of people say, I want him, I want him, I want him. No, we don't do that. We want to make sure that they're going to get the care they need and everything and make sure that he's going, that he was going to make it because he was pretty emaciated. And we wanted to make sure that he was going to get the care that he needed. And so... We knew that he was going to stay in sanctuary with us until he had uh, the care that he needs. And now he's on the road to recovery and he can be adopted. So uh, anybody that would be interested in adopting him now gets all the care done that he needed to get done and he can be adopted. So let me see if there's anything else I can see over here. Um, hi, Kathleen, how you doing? Yes, and he is beautiful. He's big and beautiful. Oh, and I love Bug. <laughs> That's for sure. Let me shut this real quick. Oh, what's Jim doing over here? Jim, what are you doing under the truck? You're changing the oil. Yep, that's something we have to do quite often with this truck, huh? Yeah, this is our truck that we haul hay with, that we haul the horses with, that we haul water with. This truck is our 2016 Ford F-250, and he, it's been a godsend to us. But it has lots of miles, so Jim ends up changing the oil quite often on it to, to keep it going. And so let's go over here. We'll go over here to the other part. Oh, yes, I will tell Brandy that you're praying for her. Thank you so much. She's a, it's a pretty long haul for her. She, she puts on a brave face, but I can read between the lines. <laughs> so, okay, so here's Mama and Baby. They're doing super good. And please forgive me, I have not gotten to this area to clean up yet. Uh, I take sections, little sections at a time, because otherwise it just wears me out. So I did all the pastures over there, and now I'm going to do all these stalls. And, and the round pen, where the mamas are. Huh. So this is Mama, this is Sharona, and her baby Sultan. Aren't they cute? They were just rescued in the October auction here. They're doing super good. 
She's still maintaining her weight well, and baby's doing super good. So we had a halter on baby the other day. Ty, Ty got it on him for a minute, and then we took it off, and then we're going to end up doing that again. So, um, let's see. Wish we could have made it by while we were here, but have to head back to Illinois. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But hopefully you'll be out here soon. I know that um, winter is coming, but... Winter here is not as bad as Illinois, so. but hopefully we'll see you soon. And we want to thank you again for all the apples. It was great. Okay, so let me go over here and see some of the other guys. Mr. Rocky Road himself. Rocky! Rocky, what are you doing? What's Rocky doing, huh? What are you doing, boy? Want to come and say hello? Come say hello, Rocky. This is our little Arabian colt now. I was just digging up pictures on him when we rescued him. It wasn't too long ago. And he was the tiniest little thing. Now he's got legs for days. <laughs> you got legs for days? Yep, you got legs for days. And you're so tall. He's a Polish Arab. Are you Polish Arab? Did you worry? You're so cute. You're so cute. He's ready for adoption. Come here, Mr. Man. Come here, let me let me pet you and say hello. Oh yeah, that boy. Oh. Mr. Rocky! Mr. Rocky himself. Oh. He's so cute. He's ready for adoption now and he trailers and he loads and he does his feet now and <laughs> And he halters and he ties. We've been working on all that. He's doing really good now, huh? He can't go now. We're doing really good now. Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm I'm ready for adoption. If you wanna open up your heart for me, I'm ready ready for a new forever home. Yeah. And I can't wait to show the new adopter his pictures of when we got him at auction. He was so little. <laughs> okay, and this is Layla. Layla, how are you, Layla? What are you doing, Mrs. Beautiful Pasafino? Beautiful Pasafino, Miss Layla. Layla got um, all her care done, and tomorrow she goes in for her evaluation. Yes, she do, Miss Layla. So gorgeous. You're a gorgeous Pasafino, aren't you? I can't wait to see her being ridden. She has the smoothest gait from what it looked like before, and I can't wait to be able to see her in action. Huh. That's such a good girl. It's so pretty. Yeah. Oh, there we are. There we are. Good girl. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. What are you doing? We're going to go and get evaluated tomorrow. Mm. She doesn't need this halter on. She's easy to catch. I just happened to leave it on her because... I was like, well, guess what? We're going to go get in the trailer first thing in the morning. And every time a horse sees a trailer, they're like, I'm out here. <laughs> That's because you get so comfortable being here, huh? They're like, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to go to this other little filly. And I'm so sorry, but I forgot her name. I have to look it up. What you doing, baby girl? What you doing? Come on. She's like, I'm in the shade. Don't bother me. <laughs> but she's halter broke. And we're working on her letting us brush her out because she has, um, what do you call those? Fairy knots. So she has those and she's like, I don't like that brush. And I'm like, well, we're just going to keep working on that. But she's halter broke. She leads, she ties and she gets in the trailer and she actually picks up her feet. Don't you? Yes. They're so, she's so cute. Here she comes. What are you going to do? Oh, she doesn't like Layla. Layla and her don't like each other. It's okay. You don't have to be so upset. Layla. Look at Layla's right there. You don't have to be so upset. Layla's not going to hurt you. Come on. Come on over and say hello to everybody. You're putting on your angry face. <laughs> Nobody wants to see an angry face. Everybody wants to see a happy face. A happy face. That's a good, that's a good girl. A happy face. Yeah, no angry face. No angry face. How about a happy face? <laughs> Let's show everybody your happy face. I got a happy face. 
Layla's not gonna hurt you. Come on. I promise. Layla won't hurt you. Think see she has fairy knots. I gotta get your fairy knots out. You gonna let me do that? It's a good girl. It's a good girl. Oh, okay, it's a good girl. It's a good girl. No angry face. I gotta have there we go, happy face. No angry face. <laughs> She's so cute. She's a really cute little girl. And this is Myra. Myra is our mini. Our little mini donkey. Our mini meal is what she is. And she's going to go to her new forever home tomorrow. So she's got a really good little home. She's going to go live with Cookie and Jolene. Cookie and Jolene. And they're going to have a really good time together. All living together, huh? Oh, let me get your eye. It's like got some goobers. It's got some goobers. And she's a cute little mini. So we'll be taking her tomorrow because she's going to be living not too far away from Sierra and Ty. And so we'll be able to take her over there when we take the other ones over to get evaluated. Oh, you did a good girl. You did a mini. You did a mini. And this is Miles. Now, Miles was rescued a long time ago. He was rescued a long time ago. He's still a little sad. Hi, Mrs. Hi, Myra. And um, he still needs his eye fixed. But we've been waiting on that until July when the fly season goes away. And we're able to take him to the vet without having to have any fly attacks. So once that happens in July in January, uh, we'll be taking him to the vet to get that all down. Now, I did have someone that wanted to adopt him, but uh, we've decided that we're just not going to adopt him out at this time. We're going to get him all his care that he needs, and then we'll evaluate that later on. But for right now, let's just get his care that he needs. He's already scheduled for that. Hi, what are you doing? Why are you doing so cute and friendly? It's so cute and friendly. You're a good girl. Okay, and then we're going to go over here to Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson in the barn. And Willie was rescued. Oh, my gosh. Uh, let's see, August? Yeah, you were rescued August, I believe. And, or September, I can't remember. But, but anyways, he's a little standoffish. But once you catch him, he's great. He's really loving, huh? Say, once you catch me, I'm really loving and great. So he's looking for a forever home. Willie Nelson's in the barn. Yes, he is. <laughs> but he's uh, still a jack. We can't get him gelded. Um, when you hit a certain age for a stallion, it you run the higher risk of them bleeding out and getting more infections. So we just thought it was best just to go ahead and adopt him out to someone that didn't have any jennies or any mares. And that way he can live out his life just the way he is, healthy and in good weight and, and a lover when you catch me. I love her when I'm catch me. <laughs> okay, so uh, tomorrow is evaluation day and then on Thursday, I'll be able to take you to the other section of our organization where I have all the wild ones. And the yellow mare, she's up there in the Mustang panels because she's really super nervous. And she wanted to try to go ahead and kick all the other horses that got near Diamond. So we just thought it was best to go ahead and separate them. And she's up by the wild horses in her own little area. And this morning, I went up there and I noticed she's a lot calmer. She's a lot calmer. She's not so nervous. She's not uh, so jumpy. She actually came up to me to get a, a nice scratch and a, and a good morning. And she didn't run from me. And so that's a really good thing. So she's she's learning now to it's okay to be calm. So sometimes when you rescue horses from auctions, it takes a while for them to settle in and um, get used to what's going on. I'm sure that there isn't one horse that has gone to auction um, that hasn't had some kind of traumatic experience in their life. And sometimes it takes longer for horses to get 
settled in. Some of them get settled in right away, and some of them take a while. So that's okay. We're here to give her a second chance as well. And so I will take you on Thursday up to see all the other horses. And I want to thank you guys again for all your newcomers joining us and for um, all you faithful followers and horse rescue warriors. You know, we just couldn't do it without you guys. Not at all. 100% no. And so pretty soon the auction is going to be November 11th. And um, we will take you live inside the auction and we're hoping to be able to save as many lives as we did last month, or maybe even more. Wouldn't that be great? So um, this month, actually, we saved 17. And wouldn't it be nice if we could save 18, 20, 25? Wouldn't it be great? Because it's almost the end of the year, and we need to be able to save as many as we possibly can from the slaughter pipeline so that they all have second chances and they can find their forever homes. And let me see. Well, thank you, Karen, very much. So I take this off so I can see what you guys are saying. And um, did you lose me for good, Mark, or am I still here? Sometimes they'll go on in and out. I don't have the best of service because we live out in the middle of nowhere. So some of you guys uh, that are new, too, don't realize that we live in a little town called in Arizona, which is get to the gas station uh, where an ambulance can meet you. That's great. Um, and that's about eight and a half miles to get out. So sometimes the roads are so bad that an ambulance doesn't work for us. And especially with Brandy and her injuries, getting in an ambulance and going down our dirt roads was a no-go for sure. No go. So anyways, that's why she was life flighted out. And that's what happens normally around here in Seligman. Uh, you'll see the life flight helicopter around a lot because we all live so rural out here. But we want to thank you guys again so very, very much for everything. We love you all so very much. And we can't wait to see you guys soon. Have a good day.